it's me, Danielle. Can you recognize me with my beard? So I thought it would maybe be fun for some of you guys that have a hat to make a beard to go with it. In order to do this, I went ahead and drew almost like a triangle. Started at one end and all the way down to the bottom. And I started at the other end and made a triangle. So make a big triangle on your paper, okay? You want to start at the top left and at the top right and draw it down to the very bottom of the page. After you do that, you can go ahead and cut out the triangle, okay? After you do that, you have a triangle. I allowed mine to get a little bit curvy just to add a little bit to the beard. So you do not have to cut a perfect triangle. So then the only thing you do is you start anywhere you want in this little area uh, in terms of anywhere on either the left or the right, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna cut up about, you can choose a half an inch or an inch from the top. And you continue to cut from the triangle, the bottom of the triangle, or the top of the triangle, I'm not sure, from the pointy part of the triangle, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect with you staying a half of an inch or an inch. It can kind of vary, but it's somewhere in between there. You don't want to cut too high and have your uh, beard hairs fall off. So here we are. And once you get to here, it starts to get even thinner, but you just keep trying to find a spot to cut from the pointy part of the triangle. And if you want, you can kind of curve, curve your scissors as you're doing it, or if it's easier, you can just cut up. Now, for this part, what I did is I drew a half circle right in the middle. I can use this so you can see it. I drew a half circle, half circle right near the middle. If you want, you can fold it in half and kind of see what would be considered the middle, or you can measure it and do some math and figure out what the middle is for yours. So I'm gonna cut out that half circle for my nose. After I do that, you see it'll fit perfectly on my face. Lastly, if you have a hole punch, you can use that and you can hole punch on the left side and on the right side. You wanna do it probably, you can, you would be safe with about a half of a, half an inch in. You're gonna poke two holes and I will go ahead and show you on mine. I poked and I cut mine too far, so it did rip, but I was able to tape it together. So I poked my two holes with my pencil, and what I did is I took my string, I poked it through the hole. It was a little bit hard to do, so what I actually ended up doing is I took my pencil and I just poked the ribbon or the string through so I could pull it to the other side. It gets a little bit funny. Um, and or that's what's happening right here. See how it's getting kind of messy? That's okay, just try again. If it continues to give you trouble, you can always put tape on the end because that should help it from fraying. And that's the reason why it gets all funny like that is it kind of bundles up. So after you get it through, you're gonna wanna tie a knot 
on the end. What I did is I tied the knot, but then I had like extra string after I tied the knot. Okay, so tied the knot. I did a double knot. After I did it, I had extra string. Do you see that extra string right there? And I just cut it right close to the knot. Okay, and then I pulled it through so that you would be able to pull the string through and it wouldn't come through the hole. You do the same thing for the other side and then once it's, once you have your strings on, I should have said you want to measure to make sure that the strings will fit around your face so that all you really have to do is tie it around your head. Alright, that completes the video guys. Looking forward to seeing if you guys make it or not. Bye!